Hey guys, back with another video with my really weird, crazy looking eye. It's still healing, but this video is highly requested, so I wanted to get on top of it. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina, and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. The Tower 28 team sent me their brand new serum concealers in this little paint can, and it was really cute. I want to share with you guys the application of this, what my thoughts are because I have worn it a few times now and just give you the rundown on it and if I would recommend it to you so let's get started the swipe serum concealer is a hydrating concealer that glides on like a serum but has the medium buildable coverage power to instantly cover dark circles redness and blemishes it comes in 20 different shades it's lightweight and buildable medium to full coverage doesn't cling to dry patches silicone free smooth skin texture and it's 22 it's supposed to be good for quick touch-ups or all over the face. I have the shade number 9 MDR, which says it's a medium with olive undertones. And number 11, which is a tan with medium warm undertones. So the first time I tried these concealers, I used it on top of their Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. I'll link down below the reel with my first impression of these concealers. And I also have a video reviewing this tinted sunscreen. So any questions you might have about this, check out that video. I will link it in the description box for you. So what I think I want to do today is show you guys the concealers on top of the tinted sunscreen on one side of my face and then on on the right side of my face will go in and just spot conceal with the concealers so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this I have this in the shade 45 Silver Lake I think in the review video I actually used a different shade but I ended up exchanging it for a darker shade and what I used to apply this last time was this like big Sephora brush it's a number 94 I don't even know if they sell this anymore I'm not gonna go in with any primer I just want to show you guys what the concealer and the tinted sunscreen look like on their own. This tinted sunscreen is darker than my actual face, but it matches my body really well. That may have been too much. I'm just gonna bring it down my neck and I'm just gonna put it on my entire forehead because why not? I probably won't even use the concealer on my forehead to be honest. This is shade MDR. This is gonna be the lighter one of the two that I have. There is MDR, there is OC. So MDR and OC. So with the side that I have the tinted sunscreen on, I can use the shade OC as my spot concealer because it matches the sunscreen very well. And then I just use a mixture of the two under my eyes. As you can see, I have a good amount of acne scarring and I have a couple of active breakouts here as well as on the right side of my face. I also have a lot of acne scarring on my chin as well. So we're just gonna go in with a concealer and cover that up. And the texture of these concealers, they're very serum like they're super super thin it does have that flat doe foot so you can use both sides to apply the concealer to your face and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit under my eye like that and I'm using my BK Beauty a506 brush just to blend this out we're going in with a tapping motion because I want to make sure that the concealer kind of stays concentrated wherever I put it and a little bit of this concealer goes a very long way you really don't need a ton in any areas. And you see how it's just kind of like blending into the skin seamlessly. And I will say that I feel like I get a really solid medium coverage from this. And if I go in with more product than I, I did this time, I would definitely be able to get more of a full coverage out of it. All right, and as you can see, it pretty much covered up all of my acne scarring there. I could probably put a little bit here on this spot. I missed that one. So I'm gonna go in with the tiniest bit just right there and maybe a little bit more on this really intense sunspot and this acne scar you can definitely let it sit to dry down a little bit to get more of that coverage i'm sure that would be fine i don't think that it would dry down too much to where you can't blend it out like it almost completely covered that sunspot now of course you can see that there's still concealer there that needs to be blended out but i just wanted to show you guys kind of like the base of it i guess that is my problem like spot my problem sunspot on my face it's virtually gone i'm sure that once i put other cream products on there you know it's gonna kind of change 
the coverage of it but really impressive that that much concealer or that little concealer i should say can really cover up my problem areas like that now we're gonna go in with mdr and just brighten under the eyes just a little tiny bit right there just a little line right here okay that's gonna stay looking a little crazy while we leave it <laughs> and then i blend it in this is what this side of the face is looking like i think i'm pretty happy with how much concealer i have going on here now i would not say that this is a self-setting concealer it's definitely more of a hydrating concealer and for me as someone with combo normal oily skin i always set my complexion down with powder because if not my oils just kind of come through a little bit more than i want them to so now we're gonna go in and just spot conceal on the right side it's going to look I think pretty different from this side because of course we have that base going on so whenever I spot conceal with these two specifically because of these shades that I have I like to mix the two so I'll dot a little bit of each on the face or a lot of bit of each on the face I kind of go overboard because as you can see I have a lot of spots to conceal we are going in with the shade OC on the actual spots and I'm gonna go in on every little spot that I see now I'm gonna mix the shade MDR kind of like between and next to each of those spots but then under the eyes I'm actually gonna go in with just MDR now if you don't have acne scarring like I do or a lot of like redness or hyperpigmentation or what have you you probably wouldn't have to spot conceal as much as I did right here now I'm taking the same brush here I'm going to just dot everything in and really cover all of those spots and try to get my skin tone to be even you know I actually think that these shades blend in really nicely and create a good shade all right and here is this side of my face with just spot concealing you can definitely see my acne scarring a little bit here but it doesn't look as intense obviously maybe if i go in with another layer let's go in again with a little bit more product on the spots that i can still kind of see under the nose as well a little bit i really love the texture of these i feel like they're super easy to blend personally i love starting with a dewy base and then powdering everything down i think that both sides look really great it kind of looks like i'm wearing foundation where i spot concealed again i used a lot of concealer i basically used it in place of the foundation so i i don't know i think everyone has different definitions of what spot concealing is for me it's something that's going to get me an even base it's something that's going to cover my acne scarring and all of my problem areas with concealer instead of foundation so how much i use isn't as definitive as the look i'm going for you know i think if you have extra dry to normal skin this is going to look absolutely beautiful on you you're going to Look like you're glowing from the inside out now if you do have more oily skin and maybe you don't like looking dewy then i don't know how you're going to feel about this before powdering everything down i am going to powder everything so you guys can see what it looks like but uh yeah this might kind of throw you off if you do tend to be more oily i love the coverage that this gives i love a medium coverage concealer and something that i can build to full having that versatility is just the best for me nothing is set down with powder and i am getting a little bit of creasing right under the eyes because I do have more prominent uh, fine lines right under here on either side of the eyes as you can see definitely not self-setting doesn't really dry down per se I'm gonna do all of my creams I have three different beach please creams from tower 28 this is office hours this is a party hour and then we have the sculptino in the shade getty I'm also going to like do everything else and then i'll be back to talk about my final thoughts all right guys i am back i finished my makeup and this is what the face is looking like again the right side i only had this spot concealer and then i went in with cream blush cream contour i powdered with the kosas cloud set and then i finished it off with a little bit of huda beauty baking powder and for the most part guys i feel like it looks the same my entire face looks like i you know either spot concealed the whole thing or I did tinted sunscreen. It looks pretty even for the most part. There's something about the finish of this concealer and tinted sunscreen that just makes me want to go for a more like healthy skin look, something dewy and natural almost. This spot right here, that really stubborn sunspot, you can definitely see it a little bit more. Once I went in with the Beach Please cream blushes, it kind of moved that concealer around right there. It's very rare when a concealer can come 
cover that up and keep it covered with just one layer without going in with concealer layers and then layers of powder as well but you know as long as it's not as noticeable i'm pretty happy with that i'm not seeing any caking whatsoever even on my raised acne spots i feel like everything is kind of smoothed out the hyperpigmentation is pretty much covered maybe just right here where that bronzer is you can kind of see a little bit of my acne scarring right there the combination of powder and concealer under my eyes kind of accentuates that really fine line that i have on either side of my eyes it's kind of like seeping into that fine line i hate to say it that's pretty normal for all of my concealers i have not found a good routine or good products or whatever maybe combination of the both that just completely goes over that really deep set line. I am a huge fan of the Kosas Revealer Concealers. If you don't already know that, then now you know. That is like my holy grail concealer because I love how hydrating it is. I love the coverage and I love the tone of it. It just works so well on my skin. And this, I feel like, is very, very similar to the Kosas one, but I will say that I think this one is a tad more hydrating than that one. And I also feel like this one gives a little bit more of a full coverage look. If I I had any sort of clinging I would assume that it would be on my active breakouts but I'm not seeing any of that it really just smooths over those breakouts and I think it looks really really nice I am very surprised that they came out with a full coverage concealer but I'm very happy with it I think that it is such a good concealer I have no complaints so far from what I can tell um, I will keep you guys updated in the description box as well as on Instagram. I'm pretty active on there for quick bite type of reviews and stuff like that. So if anything changes, I will let you guys know for sure. I've worn this concealer about two to three times now, I believe. And uh, I wore it in different ways. So I spot concealed one day and then I did it over the tinted sunscreen like I mentioned. I think it was between 6 to 10 hours that I was wearing it each time. And my skin just looked flawless. It looked healthy. I will insert some photos and some videos if I have it of the times that I was wearing it. But it just looks like a perfected complexion with very minimal effort. I think that these are super easy to work with. I don't think that you have to work quickly with them. Some full coverage concealers do tend to dry down pretty quickly and then you have to kind of like rush to blend it to make sure that that full coverage is where you want it to be but I don't find that that's an issue with these. I do feel that there's enough hydration in this to be able to blend it out whenever you want to. Like you can set it wherever you want and then you can blend it out as quickly or as slowly as you want to. I am a huge Tower 28 fan. I feel like everything that they come out with I, I just love and it just like works for my everyday type of routines. Just for fun I will check in at the end of the night so you guys can kind of see how the face is sitting and how the concealer is doing on my face. Currently what time is it? It is about 5 p.m. so only a couple more hours that I'll be wearing this but I will let you guys know how it's doing. So it's the end of the night and I I have only worn this for about like five hours I want to say but I am so tired so I want to take my makeup off and get into my pajamas and chill for the rest of the night so I'm gonna end this video here but let's look at the face before I do that you can definitely see where my sunglasses were sitting on my face it has moved the sunscreen as well as the concealer that's on my nose I guess under my eyes there is some significant creasing I would say that my really deep set lines have some pretty prominent concealer in there. I tend to have that happen pretty often. And I am looking fairly oily on both sides. So I really thought that the left side of my face would look significantly more oily than the right side because the right side I only have that spot conceal and then my cream products, you know, and then I just set it down with some powder. Whereas on the left side, I have all of that plus that tinted sunscreen and that tinted sunscreen is very hydrating. I just thought it would look way more oily but i don't know it kind of looks the same to me what do you guys think as far as the longevity goes it looks like the concealer has stayed put on either side of the face about the same if anything maybe it has faded a little bit more on these acne scars right here and remember this was only five hours so typically i'll wear a face of makeup for like eight plus hours i'm gonna have to play around with it 
under the eyes usually i like to use a color corrector and then i'll use a concealer on top of that i think i'll do that next time because i do feel like it kind of faded right here where it's the darkest on my under eyes so i'm just gonna kind of smear that <laughs> line see how it looks yeah it looks good i don't know <laughs> Now, would I recommend it? Again, I feel like if you have very oily skin, you may want to proceed with caution with this one because it is going to be very hydrating. But if you do have very sensitive skin, maybe you have very dry skin, maybe you have acne prone skin like I do, this would probably be a very safe bet for you when it comes to not irritating your skin further. It says 100% Tire 28 products follow the National Eczema Association's ingredient guidelines. I think that the main way that I, I am looking forward to using it is as a spot concealer in place of like my foundation and stuff now i do plan to do a comparison video with all of the concealers that are actually coming out currently i feel like a lot of brands are coming out with concealers so stay tuned for that video i will be comparing the tire 28 one with the makeup by mario one and the house labs so we're going to be talking all about those whenever you know i have all my thoughts straight and i get to test all of them a little bit more all right guys that's everything for this video i hope that you found it helpful i hope you found it informative and enjoyable and if you did please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one and i'll see you guys in my next video bye